The political divide in the country is evident almost everywhere you go. But here in Texas and out west, the conversation has turned to the issues. We traveled through three states to look at the all-important Senate races where the outcome could still surprise. We began in Nevada, a state that is widely seen as the Republicans' best chance to flip a seat. Across Nevada's rural desert landscapes to the bright lights of Las Vegas, roars a bitter fight for control of the Senate. They're running around peddling conspiracies and lies about an election that they claim was stolen that wasn't. We're doing this to save Nevada and save our great country. Nevada's Trump-backed former Attorney General Adam Laxalt. And there's no one more trustworthy in Nevada than Adam Laxalt. Who helped lead Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election results in Nevada, facing off with Democratic incumbent Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, the first Latina in the U.S. Senate. But Cortez Masto, with her low key style, is seen as one of the most endangered Senate Democrats in the nation. Because despite the fiery rhetoric about 2020, this race comes down to the economy. The economy, inflation, that's a big issue with you. Why? Because the prices have gone so high. So were you hoping for a red wave this time? Kind yes. Of, yeah. Uh, things seemed better um, before. Food, rent, and gas prices are higher here than almost anywhere in the country. All over Nevada, but especially here in Las Vegas, there were massive job losses during the pandemic because, after all, Las Vegas is all about hospitality, hotel jobs, restaurant jobs, and not all of those jobs have come back. When we bought, we win! Ted Papa George leads the Culinary Workers Union, one of the largest in Las Vegas, launching a massive effort to get out the vote. All right, we vote! So far, the union has knocked on some 700,000 doors, encouraging registered voters to go to the polls and support Cortez Masto. If we knock on those doors and we talk to those voters, we win. The voters that may make the difference for the Democrats, Latinos, who account for roughly 20 percent of registered Nevadans and a whopping 60 percent of the Culinary Workers Union. We're also talking about like immigration. Like, I cannot vote. I'm a DACA recipient. Even if Cortez Masto wins in the heavily Latino areas, Laxalt is still confident of victory. Across the border into Colorado, you hear the same familiar echo from voters. It is not the 2020 election or the divided nation. Probably economies followed closely, real closely by the border. Incumbent Democrat Senator Michael Bennett, who's seeking a third term, is fending off Republican Joe O'Day, a Denver businessman selling himself as a fresh face in politics who puts the economy first. My campaign's been focused on one issue, and it's inflation, inflation, inflation. They're listening to my message because that's what they're talking about on the kitchen table. O'Day describes himself as the Republican Joe Manchin, and he supports abortion access and has incurred the wrath of Donald Trump for accepting the 2020 election results. But a Republican hasn't won a Senate seat in Colorado in nearly a decade. And ultimately, he'd have to win over independents to unseat Bennett. Look, we're dead even with the independents. That's who matters here in Colorado. 45% of our electorate is independents. And Democrats are fighting hard to convince voters they can help families. Bennett touting recent legislative wins. I've led the fight for the biggest tax cut ever for working families, the child tax credit and then the earned income tax credit. Those were my bills. Nationwide, Democrats are playing up social issues. Bennett, no different. He's put abortion at the forefront of his campaign. Because Coloradans are deeply upset that the Supreme Court has, has, has ripped away this right. Mary Keene is so passionate about the issue, she's already voted straight party ticket. I don't agree with anybody telling me what I can do with my body. So basically the Democrats say they're not gonna mess around with my decisions and so I just voted for them. But Democrats across the border in Utah will not have such a clear choice of candidates because there isn't one. 
that anyone is even talking about the Utah Senate race at this point is astonishing in itself. Utah is a blazingly red state. Utahns have elected only Republicans to the Senate for nearly 50 years. So the Democrats have a plan. Instead of putting up a candidate who would almost certainly get trounced by incumbent Mike Lee, they are throwing their support behind former Republican and now independent candidate Evan McMullen. The politics of division and extremism are tearing our country apart, turning Americans against each other. We're failing to overcome the major challenges we face, whether it's inflation or the high cost of health care air and water challenges, which we have uh, very acutely here in Utah. A former presidential candidate, McMullen, would need to bring Democrats, independents, and Republicans into his camp, Republicans like Tom Taylor, in order to win. We pledge allegiance to the United States of America, not to a political party. So I love the fact that he's independent. And Taylor said McMullen already has his vote. But incumbent Mike Lee knows even with McMullen's surprising strength, he is a long shot. It's closer than we expected initially, but we're going to win it. And like everyone we talked to, Utahns told us they just want someone who can fix inflation. The economy is really bad right now, and it's, it's hurting my family personally. And so that's one of the reasons I believe that we need to have Republicans elected. A Republican rallying cry across the West, across the nation, that aims right at the Democrats' most vulnerable spot. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.